I live on a 10 acre hobby farm and my chickens and ducks are free ranging. They can go anywhere they want. But my two dogs, Leo and Romy, are behind a fence. And what the chickens and ducks love to do every, every day is they go and sit by the fence and they teach the dogs. So if you hear the dogs complaining, it's usually because of the chickens and ducks teasing them. There are other animals on my farm, and they're not domesticated at all. They're wild. These two wild fawns showed up this, um, this fall without their mother, and one of them has allowed me to get very close. Just doesn't seem to mind at all as I watch him when he munches on the leaves and um, and the grass and looks for things to eat. And so I can come in very close and sometimes he even approaches me and sniffs my clothing. I think the deer on my 10 acres know that they have no fear of being hunted down. Certainly not by me. He's so close, I can see his tongue, I can see his open mouth. And he decides where he goes. So when he decides that he's had enough of being close to me, he can always just decide to go back to where I can't see him. It's all up to him. But I appreciate these intimate moments, you know, just between me and the deer. Okay, there he goes. Now on my property, besides the chickens and the ducks and the deers and the coyotes and possibly a fox that has been hiding from me all this time, I have a walking trail that used to be in an open field and a lot of volunteer trees have showed up. And one of those trees is a persimmon tree. And the persimmons on that tree grow very high. You know, all the leaves have already dropped off. Around Halloween, it starts to look like a Halloween tree with little orange balls on top of it, as if they were pretend pumpkins. Now, a lot of those fruits do fall to the ground when they're ripe, but if I don't come at just the right time, the deer and the rabbits and all the other animals get to them first. And I wanted to get a persimmon for Bo. So I took this branch, which actually was a dead branch from a different tree. And I decided to take matters into my own hands and make one of the persimmons drop down for Bo. Can you see that? There it went. It fell to the ground. Then I have to find it and get to it and disentangle it from all the other sticks on the ground. And of course, wash it. It's very soft. It's already ripe because we've had our first frost. Okay. And then I give it to both. It's so, so soft and so luscious.
And of course, inside, in with the luscious fruit, there are also seeds. And so Bo has to be careful with the seeds. In fact, he takes them out of his mouth. He's got very delicate lips to do that with. He's checking to see if it's fruit pulp or seed. Oh, there's a seed. Can I help you go with that seed? I offer my hand. There we go. Gonna put the seed in the bowl. Later, take it outside and maybe another tree will grow from our seed. Life on my hobby farm is pretty good. And this was a persimmon for Bo. Please like, subscribe, and possibly join my channel to support Project Bow.